Fairfield's a pretty tight-knit community. It does have two universities in town, so it's a little bit of a college town theme. This particular neighborhood is Fairfield Beach, right on the coast. We're about 150 feet from the water. We moved to Fairfield because of the beach. We love the community, we love the area. It's a, a nice place to live. This area was hit particularly hard in Sandy because the water came in and then it couldn't escape. There's a natural dune all the way across the beach that kept it here for four to five days before they were able to pump the majority of the water out. Because we're at the end of the street and closer to the beach, our house was one of the last ones to get pumped out on our street. The water came up to about belt high where I'm standing, maybe a little bit higher, and it just devastated the neighborhood and the coastline. The Fairfield, the beach area, had a very tough time, is still having a tough time. There are still a lot of people that, that can't get into their homes. This house fared very well. The hardy siding performed exactly as it should have. The first two or three courses of siding were submerged in salt water for a couple days and there appear to be no consequences as of now. With cedar, that siding would have had to have been ripped off. The Hardy's breathability and the Color Plus finish have performed as they should have, right up to the expectations of the homeowner and us. I think that if we hadn't gone with Hardy siding, we would have had more problems than we did through that storm because of the wind and the driving rain. Yes, we paid more than vinyl, but we felt that the investment was well worth it. It, it looks perfect, it's just, clean and neat. It looks like day one. It doesn't get any simpler than this is a house that experienced the worst of the storm and the absolute brute force wind and rain and flood and it held up beautifully. <laughs>